panels now are 144 hertz. You see left uh, 23, on the right 24, all at eight panels. There is an increase in full white uh, and there is an increase in peak. I would say full 10% more, uh, peak uh, almost 30% more. Still the exception on 42 and 48 does not exist in, uh, in all of eight series with the same spec as 55, 65, and 77, simply because our supplier only has one version and that is at the full wide and peak light of the same series. Banning solution improvement in the uh, eighth generation P5 AI. In a second, I will demonstrate to you uh, that uh, performance. And then uh, we have uh, a new HCR tone mapping uh, uh, technology called Enhance, which is the uh, last part there. So if you see the three pictures, uh, when you're talking about the scene, which is a uh, 4000 scene in this case, uh, of uh, HGIG, which is uh, used normally for gaming, because there you can set your tone mapping uh, right. It would be looking like this, so fully clipping. In 23, we were doing static tone mapping. And yes, we had improved it already quite a lot. You see that the clouds are less clipping uh, and also much uh, more uh, already, uh, sharpness, contrast in the bottom part of that picture. But in arms goes one step further, completely no clipping and also uh, full, full sharpness. And Basically, with Enhance, well, what we're doing is on any HDR tensors, make it easier to use. We also have um, um, in Enhance, when you are in Enhance, uh, you uh, can have three options uh, more details, balance, or more brightness. In this case, this example is here to benefit more from your. Uh, from your Display because we're talking here about 300 nit sensor scene. Uh, and filmmaker mode, we are applying the more detail. Details, uh, which is this setting, but filmmaker mode, assuming it is dark uh, in your room, then this would be the optimal setting. We do in, uh, in uh, enhanced mode, uh, we do uh, uh, apply that one, but we can give more choice more bright uh, brightness to the scenes in different settings to balance and more brightness you can uh, make that selection manually uh, depending on the light conditions in your room but uh, we also can do it with uh, the light sensor to optimize it uh, because we have a new ambient intelligence v3 version the v2 version uh, that one was having three different things, light level optimization, dark detail optimization, and color temperature optimization. Now version 3 that comes in 24 has one additional element which is called HCR optimization. And it uh, actually uh, does again then HCR processing, uh, coupling with light sensor giving you more or less. Taking the previous picture back, so in a dark room we will do exactly as uh, filmmaker mode as a director intent and we will not uh, do any enhancements but depending on the brighter it comes in your room and the, the light sensor measures we will give you more <coughs> brightness it will shift a little bit that creative intent but not not a lot and it did make sense to do that uh, because when you're watching a brighter room and a darker room uh, then the dark one Region in a bright room, they look uh, a bit pale, fuzzy, uh, uh, dimmed, uh, dark, and that's why we give that ability uh, to the uh, uh, well, automatic coupling with uh, with the HR optimiz optimizations on. If it's not on, then you can make the selections. Uh, we have now created a new game bar. So in 22, we have uh, launched our first game bar. In 23, same game bar. 
and we uh, asked many gamers to play with our game bar and give feedback on what made sense and what, what could be improved. And uh, now I will call this new game bar uh, designed by gamers for gamers. Uh, the enhancements, which you see in the bottom uh, of, uh, of uh, the picture there, crosshair, shadow enhancer, edge enhancer, and so on, are things that make sense for a game. It will help him in playing the game better. You can set them to your um, to your taste. For instance, uh, if I give you uh, an example of crosshair, you can the crosshair which is there, the red uh, the red crosshair you see on the right of the picture there. You can select the type, so the design of the crosshair. You can select the size of it, how big you make it, uh, your helper uh, crosshair. The, the thickness of the, of the lines, the color. You can ins insert everything right and then go back uh, to, uh, to uh, your game and do that for any of the different uh, helpers. Game profile is also, I think, very interesting when you're playing um, more than one game mixed with a uh, between each other, so one day one game, other day another game. Then you can set up those enhancing modes per per game, and so different game profiles. And one other one to highlight is uh, there up up uh, on the screen is the uh, discrete uh, frame uh, per second indicator, which uh, many gamers love uh, to see there all the time. That one you can position all over the screen, so top, bottom, left, right, and middle, any corner, and it, uh, it can be, therefore, be very discreet, but still always there. The rest of the clutter here can be removed, of course. The way you bring it up is by, when you are in game mode, press OK by, on your remote control, and you get yeah. this uh, uh, the game profile selection, the enhancer modes, you, can, you set them up, and once they are set, you do in, in that same game mode, you do a cursor back, and everything is gone except of the uh, frame indication. Dummy, can you also choose which, would you ask the HCR processing? Because I see here it says processed by AMD, but I can also change that to processed by TV. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, well, yes, you can get processed by TV by selecting here. Here okay. you can do picture, sound, and ambi light. Settings. Uh, this uh, is information you get from what you get. Um, another question. Um, uh, gamers are always very scared of latency. Um, is there also something inside that says, hey, if you use this feature, you're introducing latency? Yeah, but you, we're not, I'm coming to it. Okay. I'll go faster. Maybe then uh, you bring up your again. For latency, we are. Oh, not for latency. What we are going to give uh, now in gaming is we are going to give the choice of going for motion estimation, motion compensation. So many of your of games like 30 frames per second games, or maybe also even 60 hertz games, do have, well, especially the 31, 30 frames per second, have a lot of, uh, can have judder. And uh, most, many of those old games have that. Um, when you play it without MEMC, but with that judder, you know we're uh, having 30 milliseconds uh, rest, uh, latency, which is pretty good. Um, we have five milliseconds only in one twenty. If you would have done that here, because but then you step out of game mode and you would have added uh, or uh, activated uh, the natural motion, then you would end up with 200 milliseconds latency. But now with uh, MEMC on, uh, so getting the smooth uh, performance on your 30 frames per second games, you only end up with 30 point, uh, 31 uh, milliseconds, which is below the 40, below the threshold of uh, being a problem for that kind of uh, type of games. Um, so that's a feature we're adding. But your question is different. Uh, yeah, because uh, because for instance, introducing uh, uh, certain features can uh, increase the latency. 
um, does, does it warn you? Uh, uh, which, which feature should accept? Uh, maybe, uh, for maybe introducing the Corsair? Does that? No? Okay. There's nothing except for nature motion, okay. motion estimation, motion compensation, that would uh, add the uh, Okay. That's uh, taken care of. Okay. So, is that the game with MMC as a separate mode or is it just a. It's a, in your game, in, in uh, your game mode, you can now you get an extra line where you can switch on or off your edge motion. Right. So uh, indeed, we're doing now a lot of uh, extra features uh, in gaming. Twenty-three, this was the list. Twenty-four, blue is not changed, but the green ones are now all uh, moved into one forty-four. So we do support Dolby Vision one forty-four gaming. We do support uh, HR10 Plus uh, gaming on 144 Hz, all of that, and uh, PRR 144 in general. We do. We have the three uh, game bar things I wanted to highlight the enhancements, the profiles, and the uh, uh, discrete uh, indicator. And maybe another one also important to mention is the truly plug and play gaming. Uh, so, for let's say, an normal average uh, gamer we uh, take care of them and you hook up your playstation or your xbox to our tv in game mode and it will set the, the right uh, settings uh, for, uh, for uh, having maximum experience and of course if you are an expert uh, expert gamer you can go to the enhancement mode and so on and settings uh, yourself and then I come to the uh, second half. Uh, so for our OLED 9 series, uh, we have a new Meta panel, a new version uh, called Meta.2. It comes with a panel with a new uh, uh, micro lens array uh, uh, improved lens. Uh, improved in the sense that the uh, curvatures of the, uh, of the uh, lenses are different. And that results into more uh, Efficiency, and then uh, uh, on, in combination with the Meta Multi Booster, you get uh, we can reach up to 3,000 minutes of peak light. Our Meta Panel version one was uh, getting uh, 2,150 at max. Now we can go up to 3,000. So also, let's say native color values, native color values, and in D65. I need to count. We still need to experiment. But also, to, uh, important to mention uh, to you, expert, uh, is that with the detail enhancer, we will also improve the uh, low grayscales uh, resolution and perfection thanks to detailing techniques, which are based on meta uh, locations, which is basically uh, provided by the people of the meta. In the dual engine, which is uh, well, Nino, the uh, 909 gets this panel with a single engine. The 959 gets uh, the, is the meta panel version two panel with the dual engine, and exclusively in the dual engine, you we get now uh, uh, three new categories in our artificial intelligence uh, processing, animation, film, and sports. So that makes Again, our AI processing, uh, analyze of the picture, and then cure of the picture uh, much more <laughs> And important still to mention is that the exclusive features from our dual engine uh, are one is the uh, second generation now, because uh, we have a new dual engine chip, uh, so with more hardware and more software than of the second generation AI machine to have sharpness. It enhances the sharpness locally different in the picture to keep it natural but to make it sharp. We also have uh, in this uh, dual engine our third generation uh, AI smart bit enhancement which is much more uh, sophisticated and can go much further than the one we have in the single engine which I will show you in a second, our improvements. A dual engine is going to be uh, better than we had before, and 
is better than the Indonesian language. And last, you know, the third feature, exclusive feature from the engine, I would like to mention is the uh, perfect natural reality. Also there, we're at the third generation, uh, improving year by year, and uh, to make your SDR picture look like HDR, look and feel, again, with more processing power, more software, uh, look sharp, more natural, more, uh, more uh, highlights, more Okay, let's uh, have a little bit of a demo. So on the left, I have the eight OLED 808. On the right, I have the OLED 801. And the uh, first thing I would like to show you is, let me see, is 